G-Day, people! This is Sharpino here, welcome you guys to episode number 14 of the Pokemon Uranium Shiny Log. If you guys are excited for today's episode, and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit the button down below, because as always, your support is greatly appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, was a pretty big episode. We took on the fourth gym leader of uh, the... Uh, Tandor region was Sheldon, and he was apparently a steel type gym leader. And with the power of our Boba Effect Detracton, we were able to clobber that gym leader with the the the, 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 the shiftiest gears of a Tracton that we had. So today we're gonna, we are here in Legend Town after we were abruptly taken there from a nuclear meltdown nearby that city there, and. I said to you guys, I do apologize for there being no episode of Uranium yesterday, that was due, but two reasons. Number one, because we did do the 500 sub special, so if you guys haven't watched that, go ahead and check out the video on the channel. And number two, I got over and tried to level 35, and while we were doing that, we did get ourselves a nice little surprise that I personally was not expecting, but Lo and behold, it is dropped in my lap, so I figured we'll go ahead and show you the clips of not only the one, but the two surprises. Well, we got our shiny for this one, but then we got another surprise. So let's go ahead and see what exactly happened. Roll the clip. Oh, let's go! Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go! We got some shiny Gligar at 106 random encounters. Ooh, that was a quick one! Oh my god! Uh, a Gligar, everyone! Uh... <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god, you guys! Whoa! Um, okay... How about that, huh? How about that? Not one, but two shinies! One after only a short amount of time, and the other one through random chance! What are the odds? Now, sadly, I did not get the shiny module that I really wanted. I mean, that probably would have been the best one. But, in saying that though, um, you know, two shinies. How are you going to argue two shinies? So, let's go ahead and look at the team that we're rocking it with today. So we have Rip Curl the Electruxo, our starter. Tweety the Splendorfowl. Tails the Eshelton. Boba Fett, our hero from last episode, the Tracton. We got Batman the Gliger with a jolly nature. I'm telling you guys, that was actually a pretty good nature. I mean, the best nature obviously would have been probably Impish, but Jolly or Adamant would have been a close second. So this for a Let's Play is pretty damn good. Um, and it has Dig, Acrobatics, Brick Break, and U-Turn. And then finally, we have Creepstar. I should have, I was going to spell it with a Creepstar with an AR instead of ER. But we have Creepstar the Sableye with a modest nature, which I thought was interesting, to say the least, because I mean, it's not really much of a physical attacker, but it's more of a defensive one. But <clears throat> I found out that this does actually get a mega evolution in this game. It becomes Mega Sableye, so actually isn't too bad of a Pokemon to have. And the moveset is Shadow Claw, Knock Off, Shadow Sneak, and Zen Headbutt. Let me fix it up there. There we go. So that's going to be our team for today. And I figured we'll go ahead and show off our newest recruits. So let's go ahead and put these guys out front. Because, you know. So from what I understand in the last episode, we have to go ahead and, well, first off, explore this city to find out, like, you know, what the deal is. We have the Shopping Mart. Thank you. I will say, shot, hunting for that freaking Sableye, bro, how many times I was losing so many balls on that thing because it just would not get in the ball. I was just like, dude, get in the fucking ball. What is wrong with you? Um, 
super power, we got 10 of those, yeah, that, that, that should be enough. It was more so just the Ultra Balls and all that, I was just losing it. And that door just opened as we were leaving. Weird. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, 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 you're a trainer, yes? He, oh, oh yes, this, this is wonderful news. And you're traveling this region, this is also a yes. Oh, joy, oh, joy of joys, I'm so glad you have come here. Ahem. Allow me to introduce myself. I am, well, you can just call me the Tinkerer. And that is also what I do. Jeez, this guy is damn excited. Uh, okay, so trainer, you know hidden machines, HMs? Yes, of course you do. Well, I will let you in on a secret. They suck! With the glass shatter. <laughs> they are weak moves, so weak, useless. Pokemon are slaves, we have technology. And so this is what I do. I tinker. I make machines that do what the work of HMs. Here, trainer, I want you to have this. Boxing gloves. That machine, it crushes rocks, yes? It crushes rocks that are in your way. Poof! Yes, no more rock. It is a miracle. Now your Pokemon get to rest easy, and you, my friend, can also rest easy. Some days there will be no need for these HMs, but until then, I tinker. Oh, damn. So, I'm guessing that is the item for... Rock Smash, and it's Lucky Punch's thing. Go away, I'm busy, but soon. Soon I'll have more tools for you. Okay, so now we can go ahead and check on him every now and then, so we can get some good items. I think that was a pretty good start for this episode. The Tandor Regional Championship is world-renowned for being one of the toughest challenges for trainers to master. Anyone that conquers it is a temporary celebrity. Well, I think most people are when they beat Pokemon tournaments. We must pray to Oiteus and Mutios for safe guidance. Only they will be able to help us through these dark times. I don't know, are we going through some dark times? I, I, I don't know. Team 5 Roar. Hmm, probably don't know if I would teach anyone that at the moment. I am worried for Vinaville's library. Some of these books were priceless artifacts dating back from the found to the founding of Tandor. Well, buddy, for doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, like, you know, what can you do? We found a charcoal for fire types. If only we had a fire type on the team. That's just an empty house. All right, we'll keep exploring around Legantown. So question for today that I have for you guys today is, what is a fond memory that you have with Pokemon? So, you know, talking about things like maybe your first time playing Pokemon, Super Training Tent. Uh, hello, what is this? Welcome trainer, my name is Kenichi, and I am a ninja from Tsukunami Village, and I offer specialized training in the defense stat. Are you interested? Yes. Which Pokemon wants to get the buff? Um, if we're going to talk about being defensive, um, I definitely think um, Batman definitely fits them all. Actually, no Creepster would actually be... Nah, I'll go Batman. Okay, so we have to hit it on the middle, I'm guessing. No shit. Oh, there we go. That, that was good. Your Batman got its defense EVs raised by 14. Come back again if you want to make your Pokemon stronger. Oh, you can keep doing this? Oh, snap. Okay, you know what? We won't do that. We won't do that. Come back if you want to get swole. <laughs> okay, swole. Wow, okay. So we have a guy who can help you train up your EVs. Um, I'm guessing every day is like a different... Um, every day is a different stat. There is suffering from all around the world. However, the pain felt by others doesn't negate the strife we face in our own lives. Unfortunately, that is true. The chance that both the Beale Beach and Vinville plants would suffer a meltdown so close to each other is unheard of. Unless there was an underlying cause. Well, I'm gonna go with that as the as the cause. I'm pretty sure there's a reason why that happens. This town smells of challenge. By the end of the year, Victory Road will be opened once again for the championship. Victory Road is around here? Hello! Well, first off, I'll go ahead and heal up here. Because I don't think we've been to this Pokemon Center before. So at least if we get fly, or a machine that lets us fly, um, we can go ahead and just book it back here. Alright, so we've been here. So I think we've explored all of Legantown. I think it's time for us to skedaddle from Legantown. You, you cool? 
You got a cool house over here that does the training. There's an item over here. Hello. Another item over here. Tim79 Dark Pulse. Yes! You know who we can teach this to? We can teach this to our pal, uh, Mr. Mr. Creepstar, because he's not much of a special attacker. I mean, he's not much of a physical attacker, but hey. Wow, Batman can actually learn it too? Huh, that's odd. Go ahead and get rid of knockoff. And with the Quick Claw, we can kind of try to go for those Quick Claw flinches, though. That is awesome. So... And we have another item over here. Seriously, we are freaking finding items left and right here. We are finding items left and right. What is this? West Handle Victory Road ahead. Okay, I'm gonna guess that we can't go beyond here. Hold up, trainer. Pass here is Victory Road. Only trainers who have proven themselves by defeating all their gyms and Tandor are allowed passage here. Go they badges, then return. Okay then. So I was correct that that was Victory Road, so we couldn't go beyond there. Um. We'll go up here. Oh, snap. Well, fuck, we just found some story. There's a lot numbers of nuclear Pokemon out there, and they're vicious. Our rangers are having trouble holding them off. If we don't keep them back, they'll spread the radiation into this town. There's no way we're having that. I'm not going to put any more lives in danger. Suit up. Let's go. Suit up? What are you freaking... What's his name? Barney Stinson? Jesus. Sharpedo. You're all right. It seems you were. I see you were invincible when it happened. I thought I was sending you out of harm's way. I'm so sorry. I'm glad. I'm so glad you're okay, though. Now I'm going to do the best I can to make things right, and I'll start by protecting the people of Legan and Invincible. Oh, it's Sharpina. I see you showed up to help us battle the nuclear Pokemon. As much as I resent putting you in danger like this, I also want to see your Pokemon battling skills in action. Don't worry, Sharpina. I'll keep you safe no matter what. Come with me. Listen up everybody, beyond this point is the start of the Hazard Zone. Most of the side of the hill is sheltered from the fallout, but the nuclear Pokemon are encroaching in this area, irritating the ground as they go. As you know, they are resistant to capture styles. Using Pokemon to stop them is the most effective way. Pokemon who have trainers that are more resistant to the mind-altering effects of the radiation. They also recover more quickly, whereas humans are at greater risk of exposure. The air here is not very toxic because we are far away from the epicenter and protected by the mountain. Still, it is important to be cautious. Is everybody ready? Let's go! My Steel Pokemon- oh, Sheldon. My Steel Pokemon and I will help battle these nuclear Pokemon. Steel is the only type that nu resists nuclear attacks other than nuclear itself. So... Alright, let's do this. I shouldn't go any further without getting the mission details from that. Oh, okay, well I thought we were good to go. Our goal is to subdue the feral nuclear Pokemon, prevent them from breaking the barrier. Additionally, we have word from rangers who have discovered some people and Pokemon that are in danger. We must rescue them. Emperilla and I will go on ahead. Let's move out. Now, we have to be careful because, like I said, the big thing about these nuclear Pokemon is the fact that even though we are obviously super effective against nuclear Pokemon, the thing is that our moves, or basically our moves will be super effective against them, but their moves are going to be quite effective against any Pokemon that has a dual typing other than Steel. Which is to say, basically, every single Pokemon I know in this game has a dual typing. And we're going to have a nuclear showdown! Nuclear Gligar versus Shiny Gligar. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty funny when you think about it. <laughs> oh, snap, it survived. Fury Cutter. Oh. Woo, I thought we were going to go for a goddamn move. I'll be like, no! No. Okay, next time we'll just go for acrobatics. That'll probably be better. We don't want to take any more risks here, okay, guys? We don't want to take any risks here. Imagine if we find a nuclear shiny. I have seen some of the nuclear shinies, and I will say... Some of them do look pretty dope, but and we have an Ekans over here. Hypercarder, bitch! You ain't touching my attack. Haha! <laughs> no intimidating for me, boy. Another Tenku. This music, though, I will say this music is pretty goddamn. Weird. Okay, so go back to the question today. What is a fun memory that you have with Pokemon? So with me. My fondest memory of Pokemon 
is um, well, I think when I first got my first Game Boy game, I got Pokemon Red when I was like seven or eight, and playing Pokemon then. And the first Pokemon I ever got to level one hundred, I believe, was a Venusaur. Surprisingly, that was my first Pokemon I got to level one hundred. Um, and I was so happy when I got level 100, and then I got to play, what I did was, then I played with my Pokemon on Pokemon Stadium, and I think that's what made it a lot better for me, because when you had the Pokemon Stadium, and you had the Game Boy, you know, Red, and all that sort of thing, you could see all of your Pokemon in like 3D animation, and that was the absolute coolest thing, and then beating all the tournaments and all the games, missions and all that was, was pretty damn cool. Definitely a fond memory for me, so leave a comment down below, and tell me a fond Pokemon memory that you have. Hold up, look there. It looks like that Pokemon's in trouble. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, uh. Jump in, let's fight this together. And Perilla, go! Yikes. A bar shop and a tan skewer. Oh, is that the evolved form of freaking. Is that the evolved form of, of Primate? Oh my god, this is what people were talking about! Acrobatics on Barshop, that should okay that bitch, because that it would be quite effective, because I think it's fighting nuclear. Down that bitch goes, haha! -ha. Bitch! Great job! That would be Dark Nuclear, so that should go too. Bitch, get out of here! But it had two echoes. Where the hell did Barshaf and Ted skew come from? Nice work, kid. Those were some impressive battling skills. Here, let me heal your Pokemon for you. Kill him! We need backup! Come quick! I'm on it. Where's my PST so I can ask him what he's saying? What are you saying? Hey, I took out your daddy, okay? Leave me alone, okay? I'm just here to do my job and save the Tandor region from obscurity and obnoxiousness of nuclear Pokemon. So, so far we've seen nuclear... <coughs> we've seen nuclear Ekans. We've seen nuclear uh, Gligar. Hypercutter! Hypercutter! Actually, that's a pretty good ability, considering that we are in the, um, in the last play. I mean, I would say it's a lot more useful than Poison Heal. I guess if we get poisoned, then I guess that would be, you know, you know, pretty useful. So we're gonna head down here and just make sure we haven't left anything behind, because I just want to make sure that we are all good. Make sure we're all good. So, did we forget anything over here? No items? Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything over here, so let's just head back. Okay, it looks like a Glyco and the Ekans are attacking a, a, a family of a mother and a son. I help! Help! Uh, mommy! There's too many of them! They overwhelmed our rangers! Don't worry, Sharpine and I will take care of them. They're stabilized. At least for once it shows the actual sprites with the actual Pokemon. So we have a Glyco with an Ekans. Alright, let's go for an acrobatics for the Ligar. No item acrobatics? Blow a nuclear Pokemon back. And your Fury Swipes miss nuclear waste. Poison Imperilla? Oh good, you didn't touch me, thank god. Nuclear waste, so I'm guessing that's like a toxic? This second gets blended the fuck back as well. Let's go. Woohoo! Get it, boys. Ugh. Amperilla, I can feel your energy starting to fade. Is the radiation getting to you? Well, it didn't have nuclear waste dumped on it, so I would pretty much assume it would be. It's okay, don't worry. You're safe now. My rangers will protect. Why does it sound like a camera? Oh, it's our box. This isn't good. I can't let Emperilla be exposed to any more radiation. Sharpino, are your Pokemon still finding fit? I need your- No. We all need your help. Please, we're counting on you. Okay, so now we're doing a du double battle. Oh, hello. Ooh, 
Ooh, nuclear arbok! You're looking fresh with that nuclear on your on your chest. God damn! I will say, you're looking pretty fresh. You're looking pretty fresh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig on the arbok, and we're gonna go ahead and shadow. Actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna dark poles the brand. It's buried underground. Crunch is neutral. Bite. At least you're not using any nuclear Pokemon moves. Dark Pulse. Woo, Nelly. And Batman's level 36. Let's make sure that this um, Dick's gonna kill though. Stays in the corner. He's like, hey, Shadow Snake. Super effective. And the dig takes out that nuclear arbok. Thank you, Sharpino. We all owe you one. Yes, thank you. Is it over? It looks like the nuclear Pokemon have fled for now. The area is secure. Come with us. We'll take you to a safe place. I cannot thank you enough for your help out there, Sharpino. If you hadn't been able to pull through in the last minute, we all would have been in serious trouble. I'm, I'm so glad. Seeing you battle with your Pokemon, fighting alongside you, it makes me wish I'd gotten to know you better before. Sharpedo, well done, and thanks for the indispensable help you brought to the Tandor Rangers today. Please take this. Agent 4 Now please, get as far from this side as you can. You have four gym badges, right? I don't know much about battling training, uh, Pokemon training, but I'm fairly sure that your next badge is in Amatry Town. You'll have to go through Baikal Rainforest to get there. But based on how you handle those Pokemon today, I'm sure you can take care of yourself. Oh, thanks, Dad. Alright, so uh, are Pokemon healed? No, they're not. Let's quickly go back and heal. But, uh, yeah, um, Batman and freaking freaking Creepstar, they took out those nuclear Pokemon. Oh, God, Theo, what are you doing here? Oh, yeah, that's right, he was... Acting like a little kid in the last episode, like, I wanna help, wah! But you're a fucking punk ass kid that cries and whines and bitches! Nobody wants to be around that! You little bitch! Freaking man up! God damn it! Hey Sharpino! Hey Sharpino, looks like you're back from helping the Rangers out, huh? Wish I could have helped. My Pokemon's strong enough, but I guess it's good people are safe anyway. I'm gonna stick around Legend Town a bit longer. I think I just got HMO 4 strands from a weird fat guy in a house over there. When you have strength, you gotta take the train back to Barol Town and move the rocks that's blocking the way to Baikal Rainforest, right? I still gotta beat Sheldon and get the Pixel Badge up before I can do that, though. After I do that, you better believe I'm gonna catch up to you, Sharpina. Okay, so... Okay, so according to Theo, we now have to go back to Baikal Town, of to Barol Town, and use strength there. But, while we're here, we'll go and see what this is over here. Because we haven't really explored this area over here. If it won't let us go past, then at least we know now what to do next. So what's the, is this area here? This is Rockfowl Town over here. Stop right there! Are you the one who is stealing my research equipment? Bitch, I don't know what you're talking about! Super Scientist Pick has a power audio. Acrobatics, this bitch. Look at that, freaking Batman, the power of Batman. Let's go ahead and bring in Creepstar. Let's go ahead and use a Dark Pulse. Ooh, it's super effective. This thing must be a psychic type. Costral. That quick claw must be poppin' because I know Sableye. Excuse me, it's slow as shit. And I also am so glad that Creepster does not have. Oh, this bitch has got tracked on! We can handle that tracked on. 
And we get the flames though! Let's go, creep star! I love the sound of dark pots though, it sounds so cool, it's like Like it's really sound like another dimension is opening, it's so cool. Oh, it wasn't you. Yeah, fuck it wasn't me. Stop accusing me of this shit. Like, oh, you stole my equipment! How the fuck do you know? You don't even know who the hell I am! Get, get out of here, you freaking punk! You're trying to accuse me of stealing shit! Bitch! Yowza! Are you feeling the heat? Uh, no I'm not, but clearly you must be because you're blowing fucking fire from your mouth. Here comes a palige. I mean, Mega Sableye would be pretty neat to have on the team, not gonna lie. Sunny day. The sunlight turned harsh. Dark pulse again. Roost. If we can get this next dark pulse quick claw pop, that'll be great because then we can start having this big roost on us and trying to get its health back. I <laughs> love that set. <laughs> oh, we get the crit though. You know what? That's perfect now because now we go for the shadow sneak. Look, he's in the corner. There he is. Ah! He's sneaking up on you because he's a shadow and he's sneaking up on you. Ha ha! Ha ha! Wants some power gem. Yes, please. Give it a Zen headbutt. Now we've got ourselves some real power over here because this special attack is good. Wants to send a fire oak. We'll stay on this. And we have just the move for you! Power Gem! If you're Fire Bug, that'll be quite effective. Ha <laughs> ha! Nelly! That goes to Fire Oak. God damn! Wants in another Fire Oak? Oh, I've got another move for you! Now the fire's gone, I don't have to worry about. This, either this Quick Claw's popping a lot, or these Pokemon are fucking slow as shit, because I know Sableye's slow. But we have been hitting that quick claw pop every time. And in this game, it doesn't tell you if you do hit the quick claw pop. What a scorcher! Uh, wow, that battle had me sweating like crazy. That was intense. Okay, fine. I'll register my poker party. Whatever makes you happy, dude. Whatever makes you happy. We'll go ahead and put uh, Boba Fett up front. The hero from the last episode. Oh, item. TM48 skill swap. Now, if we had a bad ability like Stall, we could definitely use that Steel Swap, because I, for one, do not like having a Pokemon with a bad ability. Thunderstone. Cool. If we ever have a Pokemon that needs an evolution with a Thunderstone, we've got it right here. Okay, so it looks like we've got a bit more to do over here, but I'm trying to figure out... Okay, so that's a, a ledge that we jump over. What are these berries over here? A Jaboka Berry. Get the Jaboka Berry, bro! Jaboka Berry! A Row Wap Berry? Fanny Wap, Row Wap Berry? Fanny Wap, Row Wap? Cassie Berries? I don't think those berries do anything except just being Cassie Berries. And lastly, we have two Piapa Berries. Alright. Hey, trainer, my Pokemon want to battle you. Cool. I accept your challenge, Picnic Cup Vanessa. Let's go, Boba Fett! Let's go for a shift gear. It's not very effective. I like how in the game, in like the original Pokemon games, it's got the grind gears like, ee, like you're actually shifting gear up. Like I think that's the, the that's the gist of it. All right, let's go for a slam. What are you doing? Your quick claw ain't doing nothing, you shouting. Plus one slam. Ah, oh, god damn it. Stop going for quick attacks! They're useless to the power of my Boba Fett. Get that experience though. What's in an Abaddon? Alright, we're gonna go for a Dragon Claw now. It's stabbed. We got plus one attack. That should take an Abaddon. And that's a crit! Definitely with a crit, we'll definitely take out that bitch! Boy! A glass lug. Oh, that's a cute thing! Oh, that's so cute! And I found out this thing is actually water ice. So it's like a dugong. Dugong, gong, 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 gong. 
Down goes the glass lug. Wow, so strong, so strong. I know, I know. So guys, that will be us for today's episode as we hit that nice clean 30 minutes on the video today. So we'll be back in the next episode. We'll continue along this route here. And if there's nothing else to do here, then we'll head to Brule Town as Theo told us and use strength to get to that rainforest that we have to go to there. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button down below because as always, your support is great. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Pokemon Uranium Shylock. And I gotta say, our new shinies, pretty dope as fuck. So until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!